Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I believe that you've probably found yourself here before uh, if you're looking at the undeads.com or Undeads Rush. Uh, I did make a previous video about this and uh, there's a little bit more information there if you want to brush up on it. Uh, so what we have here is Undeads Rush game. This is a uh, it's a computer, laptop, whatever, um, only. I believe they're coming out with a mobile app soon. Um, so for now, we've got this Endless Runner game, and they had just made an update for this, and it's a Christmas edition, as you can see. And we're going to go ahead and get right into this here. So, well, let me blow this up here. I'm just going to kind of flip through this and then go ahead and play play the game. And uh, I'm not going to talk a whole lot at this point, just because it's this takes a long time to play through the game and I don't I kind of want to keep the video short but um, so here's one of the new uh, vehicles that you can get there's one of the new um, weapons that you can use looks like we've got stickers in here that you can uh, put on your vehicle as well so let's go ahead and click out of here we'll show you the we'll show you the vehicle looks like we've got a new sleigh it's kind of cool uh, I didn't purchase the sleigh. Uh, I'm not upgrading to it. Looks like you got to spend a thousand coins on it. Um, I did upgrade to the snowball launcher or whatever this thing is, and I upgraded my full damage, upgraded the full explosion. I don't find it's necessary to put anything on the ammo, uh, personally. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I've got these guns here. Uh, let's see. So what I'm going to do... I'm gonna come in. I a while ago I had um, I bought one of these packages for thirty dollars. I just found it was, you know, they said that it's not a pay-to-play game. Initially, you can play the game for free, um, but you're not gonna get anywhere on the leaderboard. So if you really wanna get anywhere on the leaderboard, it is pay-to-play. So you know, there's no hiding or getting around that. So, anyways. Um, with your first purchase, you can get this package for five bucks. I believe they give you double the points, though. So when you get this one for the first time and the first time only, you're gonna get 500 of, or 5,000 of these coins. Um, I don't think they double them up. I don't. I don't think you get 30,000. I don't remember. Um, you might have had 15,000 for this 30 or whatever. So, anyways, with that cash, you can come in. I think you can upgrade. What's a scoop? What's the scoop lift? Oh, that's just oh, okay. I see they're just showing you what's going on here. But yeah, you can you can get any of these things here. Try it on. Okay, yeah, we'll just we'll try it on. But I'm not gonna buy these things. Oh, is that free? Oh shit, yeah. Well, maybe I will. Okay, maybe I'll uh, put something on the side then. Or maybe on the back so I can look at it. Try it on. All right, here. So what I like to do, um, I'll come in, I'll buy the 2x game points, and then I'll also buy this Phoenix. So um, when you crash into something and you die, you come back with half your life, but you don't get any of your armor on your vehicle. So um, it at least gives you a leg up. You know, you can go a little further in the run. I personally don't find it's necessary to to buy any of these ones here. Uh, that's just my personal preference and opinion. Uh, let's just uh, let me go ahead and turn on the music just a little bit. Oh, we got Christmas music. All right, we'll do a little sound here too. I turn that stuff down because it, it gets somewhat annoying for me. All right, let's get out of here. So, um, with this game that I've talked about it before, you, you're using uh, A and D to move left and right, and space bars to shoot. But I found that with my, um, I've got a video uh, video game controller. Sorry, I just spaced out there. It, it's a Bluetooth video game controller that I was able to. Um, I'm able to use it for my direction to go left and right, but it doesn't shoot. So <laughs> my little jerry rig thing that I've got going on now is I'm I'm using my uh, my controller. It's a wireless controller to go left and right, and I'm using my foot to step on my mouse 
to keep my to keep my ammo just flinging. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that's uh, one one thing I can tell you. Just keep your ammo going, even if you don't upgrade your ammo, you're never gonna run out of it. So you're gonna constantly be hitting crates and stuff like that, and it's just gonna go. You can see on the bottom right hand corner, right above that uh, launcher, my ammo count. Um, I don't, you know, uh, yeah, I, I just don't find that it's worth spending the extra coins on that, so, um, I'll give you a couple little, little bit of my tips here. I do like to drive in the center of the road as much as possible. I try to, I try to, I try to throw my, my ammo back and forth in like a, you know, 30 or 45 degree sort of, um, launch out here at them, and i I definitely like to go for these exploding zombies f um, first. I don't even aim for these other zombies if I see ones with dynamite on them. Uh, those dynamite, they hurt you big time. They'll take five five points off your life. Um, so yeah, try to go for those. Try to aim for those garbage bins in the middle of the road. Or wherever they're at. Um, and that might, you know, it's going to help you get a little bit further in the game. Whether, you know, rather than just trying to run over every single zombie that you see, don't do it. Just just try to keep plowing forward. Go for those ones with the dynamite on them. Try to get as many of those barricades out of your way as possible. And, yeah, just have fun with it. So you can see with this edition here, we've got all the snow. We've got the snowmen. They've got some Christmas trees up in here. They actually did... A pretty decent job here with this little update. I, I, I like that. Uh, another mission here, and, and not just uh, killing zombies, it's uh, blowing up these snowmen. So you can see in the top right corner, I'm um, accumulating these snowmen that I've killed. And I don't know what the conversion rate is for them, but I think that there is some sort of value in blowing these things up right now. Um, they might be converted to undead tokens later on. I'm not quite sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, I'll have to go through and do a little bit more research on that. Um, I should have probably gone into the Discord and kind of scoured around a little bit before I made this video, actually, so I could have explained it a little better. But, um, here we are. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, just try to go through. It's an endless runner, so this thing is not going to stop. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, I keep going to the right when I'm making these turns here. It doesn't make a difference. You could go left the whole game. You could go right the whole game. You could go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, right. It doesn't matter. Um, just keep just keep going, you know. Whatever is more comfortable for you. I find I go to the right more often. Um, just, it's the way I hang. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, I don't mean that, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, go to the right. It's just more comfortable for me, for my brain, for whatever reason. All right, this might be a little long here. The last video that I tried to make, I I was trying to keep it short, but with these runs, it's just. I, I don't upgrade my speed all the way on these vehicles because the slower you go, the better. It's just more zombies and stuff that you can kill along the way. I mean, maybe if you're going faster, you're able to plow through way more of them quicker, but I find then you're going to run into issues with uh, not being able to blow up those barricades by the time you get to them. So it's, I think that might be somewhat of a double-edged sword, but I've never tried to upgrade to the fullest on, on this vehicle. Um, I have on a couple of the other ones, but the, it goes really too fast, uh, in my opinion. So, I don't know. Maybe my score would accumulate higher if I did upgrade the speed, but I really don't know. So, that kind of makes the game go a little bit long. And, and honestly, for something like myself, like where I'm... I, I really only try to come in and play like one or two games a day. Um, I don't have a whole lot of cash. I'm not trying to come in and spend coins on this game every single day. But what I try to do, I you know, I made my initial purchase of those coins. And I'll come in, I'll spend my 200 coins just to upgrade uh, to get my double points and the Phoenix booster or whatever that thing is. I, um, 
I'll try to get a good high score to keep in the top 50. Uh, that way I get, um, you know, some of the game points each day. I think that's uh, that's the name of the game for me. Anyways, um, I don't find I need to sit here and play it for 500 times. You know, if I've if I've come in and I've made a high score, that's good enough for me. Or if I've been in the top 50, that's good enough. You know, actually, this morning when I woke up, I, I haven't played this game for about a week, maybe roughly. It's it's Christmas time. I've got all the, these other family events going on and such, um, so my time is just a little bit more limited. But, uh, where was I going with that? Yeah, just coming in and playing for a little bit, try to get a high score. This morning I woke up and I, I topped my high score. I got into 40,000, uh, finally. Usually I w hadn't been able to crest over like 32,000, 34,000 I think was my high score. So, um, I don't know if it was something to, that had something to do with the update with this Christmas version here, um... I know that there were some game flaws that were happening, and maybe they had um, touched some of them up with this update here, like where I would get about to this point, and then boom, I would lose like five game, uh, five of my life points out of nowhere on my health. Like one of these, uh, there would literally be nothing around, no zombies around anywhere, and then I would, I would maybe lose five or ten life points because two uh, of these dynamite invisible zombies just blew up and killed me, you know? Um, so that was a bit of an annoyance. Um, maybe they fixed that and were able to get just slightly further ahead. Um, I know that there was another issue with the barricades being really close together. Uh, like, oh, that's a bummer. Well, right when you turn the corner, you can't get around them. You couldn't get around either of the sides. Your, your, uh, your ammo wouldn't blow them up. Um, so maybe they fixed that, but eh, that was a bummer there. I shouldn't have blown up. That was way too soon. Usually I try to aim to get at least to 10,000 without losing any of the armor. Um, and then I'm, I might be able to get to like a 20,000 score or something with zero armor. And then uh, who knows, maybe if I blow up like I did right here, I might be able to get another five or seven thousand kills or something like that, but um, that's I think maybe that's where I was going earlier. Like at this point, it, it, I would if I wasn't making this video, I would shut it off um, and start over, um, just because I know that I'm not going to get anywhere near a high score at this point. It's just improbable. There's no way I could. There's no way I could get to forty thousand points at this point. You know, so why waste? 20 minutes of my life trying to beat a score that I'm not going to beat. So that's just that's just the way I go about this. I don't have all the time in the world to sit here and play video games all single all day long. So yeah, typically I, I would I would just scrap this game. I'd run into something, kill myself, and then start over, try to beat a high score, and then call it a day. Well, at least with me dying back there like that, the the video won't be incredibly long, so uh, you should be thankful for that. <laughs> I did, uh, I got a couple pointers here. Hopefully you're able to, you know, follow those. Like I said, drive down the middle of the road, aim for those dynamite zombies, aim for those dumpsters. Um, oh, what was there? There was something else I felt. Uh, don't upgrade your speed all the way on your vehicle. Try to go slow. Kill as many of these suckers as you can. Um, don't try to kill every single zombie. Don't feel like you have to run over every single one of them. It's an endless runner. There's going to be more. <laughs> There's no shortage of zombies here. So one thing I'm, I don't know if I talked about this already, but I feel like I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Um, I, I don't know if the, if your rarity of your NFT 
matters on this Christmas version as far as, like, the snowmen go. Like, I, I do know that, um, like, if you have uh, a common zombie NFT, I, I believe it's, like, one and a half or 1.25% boost, or maybe it's a 1% boost, and then, like, if you kill one zombie, you, you're actually getting two points for that zombie. Um, if you have an epic, uh, rare, legendary, it's it's increases. Like, if you've got a legendary, you get 10x the points. So, um, it's no wonder that these people with the legendaries are just stomping everybody else on this leaderboard. I... Personally, I don't feel like you have to be very good at all. Maybe some of these players aren't even very good, but they just spent like 20k on one of these zombies a while ago for a legendary, and this is how they're able to be rewarded back somehow, maybe? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's not um, against any kind of rules to have multiple wallets with multiple NFTs in them and claim multiple spots on the leaderboard. Uh, I don't know how much I agree with that. I feel like there should be a limitation on how many wallets or NFTs that you can play with. Um, it's just not its not fair for everybody else. It doesn't create a level playing field and opportunity um, to advance yourself in the game. Like, if you've got a common zombie, you're, there's no way you're going to compete with a legendary score if they're getting 10x on you. Um, just, to, just for for holding that legendary zombie but what i'm getting at is maybe with these snowmen maybe they don't get that 10x maybe they get what they get like if they're it's one for one here maybe they're not getting their 10x so um i do know that with the high score that i created this morning i had 480 zombie uh 480 uh snowmen that i was able to blow up and i did take number one on the leaderboard so it makes me wonder if the legendaries have played yet and if they did did i crush them on this level playing field challenge or have they just not even played yet and <laughs> they're gonna come in and get like ten thousand freaking snowmen by the end of the day you know i don't i don't know uh i'm curious to see actually i would actually like to play with the legendary zombie NFT and see if I can actually stomp out these high scores on the leaderboard. Um, I know that some of them do pay professional gamers to play their their position, their their NFT, um, and that's also how they're able to have some of these high scores. But I, I would like a fair competition to see can I beat these people with legendaries if I had a legendary, you know? Fair competition. Wouldn't mind that. Yeah, you might hear a slight bit of annoyance in my voice as I said that, but you know, it's what it is. It's hey, you put the big money out, you know, you should get some kind of uh, big reward for it. But anyways, anyone that's trying to just come in and you know get a little share of the pie, it's just it's very uh, unfair. And you might be exit liquidity later on if you find out later than these guys did. I mean, anyone that knows about the project is obviously, you know, like a venture capitalist. They, they put the money out. They had some of the first information about it. And anyone coming in after that, uh, buying any of these things, is exit liquidity. There's no there's no getting around that. But that's there's nothing new about that in, in any kind of market or investment. Um, that's just the way it is. So, you know, the earlier you are accumulating these things the better off your position is going to be so all right looks like i got 228 snowmen let's go check out these leaderboards here and then i'm going to cut this video off because i feel like it's really running long here okay so it looks like on the monthly leaderboard i am in the 43rd position with a score of 40,000. look at this see look at how ridiculously unfair this is these are all legendary zombies up in the first positions here, and they've claimed all of them. There's no way, even if I, you know, this was my best run, 40,000. I've been playing this for like a couple weeks now. There's absolutely no way. For, let's see. Uh, let me just use some 
I mean, this is easy, quick math, but 40,000 times 10, I'd be 400,000. I'd stomp all you guys. <laughs> See how unfair that spread is um, right there? Anyway, uh, that so that's my, me groaning a little bit, but where did I place on the daily leaderboard? Daily leaderboard with my score of 40,000. Um, oh, jeez. Look at that. Okay, this is the daily leaderboard we're looking at. 40,000? I'd have a score of 400,000. You guys suck. <laughs> Monthly leaderboards, that's where we're at. Monthly leaderboard, that's their total. Let's see. Today's event total? Oh, yeah, okay. For sure. They get, uh, they're get. they getting They're getting some kind of extra points. There's no way. Maybe these snowmen are one-for-ones here. But yeah, number three in my position with a common zombie. Uh, all right. Yeah. I mean, I could have got another mm, even 80,000 points. That's just not doable. These are totally legendaries and, and rares or epics or something like that. Anyways, all right, guys. I'm going to cut this off. And uh, like I said, this event... I believe it only goes until the 29th of December, so you only have two more days to play this to accumulate these snowman points here, whatever they are. But, uh, alright guys, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.